Hey everyone, welcome back to Melissa's Kitchen Table. Today I'm going to show you how to make the Instant Pot um, Loaded Potato Soup. Um, you have to put your trivet in the Instant Pot first. I can't find mine, and it's probably just in the dishwasher, so I'm actually using the egg one. But either way, even if you don't have a trivet, you can just put uh, some aluminum foil to sit your potatoes on. So you need to add one cup of water. And I have a pound and a half of Yukon Gold potatoes. You can use um, red potatoes and you can use russet potatoes. You can use whatever potato you want. Uh, if you're using russets and they're, you know, like a big potato, you'll probably have to cook this probably 15 to 20 minutes. Whereas the smaller potatoes, you can get them done in 10 minutes. So I just have them in there. And of course, I want to check my ring to make sure, because it just came out of the dishwasher well, a little while ago, it's not hot or anything. But you wanna make sure it's um, all the way down. So we're gonna cook these potatoes on high pressure for 10 minutes. Once the 10 minutes is done, I will go ahead and do a quick release and then we'll get the rest of the soup going. We'll be back. Okay, so I actually had to cook some of those potatoes a little bit longer. I had um, two different size and the bigger ones needed to go a little bit longer. Uh, so I cooked those a little longer and they're just sitting on the side right now. I'm going to let them cool down just a bit. I emptied the pot completely. There's no water, nothing left in here. It's dry. I have it on the saute function on high or more for my model <clears throat> and it's hot. So to that, I'm going to add a quarter cup of butter. We're going to make a roux. And I'm going to add a quarter cup of flour. And you just want to mix the two together. We're going to cook out the raw butter flavor. Um, we're also going to need some toppings for this. So you can use cheddar or any kind of cheese you like. You can use green onions. You can use crumbled bacon. You can put ham in this. Whatever you like on a loaded baked potato. Um, I will link the recipe for this down below where I found it online. And of course, everyone's going to be a little bit different than what the recipe says exactly. So just go by how you want to do it. So to this, we're going to add a teaspoon of better than bouillon roasted chicken base. Of course you can use beef or you can use a vegetable base if you want this to be vegetarian. So we'll just add that in to there. And salt and pepper to taste. I will be putting other seasonings in this. Let that cook out just a bit. I am going to add, oh, I'm going to add some garlic powder. I'm going to add some onion salt or onion powder, whatever you have. And I don't know, I've been using this on everything from Trader Joe's. I really like it and it has some crushed red pepper in there. So it'll give this a little bit of a kick. And you could always use red pepper flakes or cayenne or sriracha would be good. All right. So now I looked in my refrigerator and I didn't have any milk. We don't use a lot of milk, so I'm gonna be adding 12 ounces of evaporated milk. I had in my pantry, that's three cups. And you need a fourth cup, so I'm gonna put some water. I believe in the recipe she used four cups of, I think it was 1% milk, something like that. Use what you have. But we don't really buy milk. My husband uses cream from the coffee, and that's it. So I'm just going to go ahead, give this a stir. I hate when the handle gets wet. And it's pretty because those, um, the Trader Joe has um, those little green flecks in there of the dried chives. 
So that's nice. It looks pretty in the soup. I like that. So we just want this to come up to a boil so it starts to thicken. And in the meantime, I'm going to chop my potatoes. You could cut your potatoes or you can mash your potatoes. So we'll be right back. Okay, so here's what this looks like. This is super thick. Um, if you want yours, this is like a chowder. So this is probably really good. I don't want mine quite as thick. So let me move the pot over. Here's my potatoes. I did a really rough mash on them. These are ready to go. I'm gonna probably add maybe a cup more of water. No, it's probably about a half a cup. I'll start with a half a cup and potatoes and um, see. How I want it and this is all a personal preference I'm trying to get the potato skins out oh and if you don't like potato skins of course you could peel your potatoes all right so put that back yeah so that extra cup of water thinned it out just a bit that looks really good I might have to thin it a little more uh, depending on the potatoes. Now at this point I'm going to switch from a whisk. You could taste this to see um, for flavor. Uh, you could also use chicken stock, but I did use the Better Than Bullion so I know there's a lot of flavor. So I'm going to go ahead and add my potatoes. And as I, I believe I said in the beginning, that's a pound and a half of potatoes. So if you use just baby potatoes, the 10 minutes would be perfect. But because I had some larger potatoes in there, yeah, I think that's a little too thick. It's more like mashed potatoes at this point. So again, you could add some more milk or you can add water or chicken stock, whatever you like. All right, that's better. And if you need to add more, you could add more. Now to this, I am gonna add some green onions. I like a lot of green onions. You can use just a little to put on as a garnish. I like a lot of them, so we put them in there. And they were frozen, so that's why I don't want to just garnish them with them. I want to put them in there because they were frozen. And to this, I'm going to add a... I'm going to start with a cup and a half of cheddar. You can use Monterey Jack. Um, you can use whatever kind of cheese you want. So that's about two handfuls. And you're going to season with salt and pepper to taste. So you just taste yours and you can add what you want to it. So we're leaving this meatless. This A cup of this with a nice sandwich would be good for a quick dinner some night. Okay, so this is it. This is the loaded baked potato soup. And like I said, I'll put it back in this bowl that had so you can see what it looks like. You can thin that out too if you'd like, or you can leave it thick like that. I like it um, like this. This is really good. So here we go. This is a delicious loaded potato soup. And like I said, you could add some sour cream on top of that. You could add some bacon bits. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe and share, and I'll talk to you all next time. Bye.